I have gotten up this Sunday morning to see all the newspapers overrun, overrun by migrants from Venezuela, putting the children on a bus, putting the children here, pictures of the children, the little hands and little feet, and little children. And we have a lawyer bothering about xenophobia. What a bunch of asses Trinidadians are. We are catching our tail in our country for our social services to give to our people. And yet we are making everything into a victim. Fat people are victims, women are victims, Venezuelan migrants are victims, squatters are victims, everybody's a victim. And you have to shut your mouth and let the victims do what they want without no order in Trinidad and Tobago. Look at the Venezuelan dregs that are coming here. It's the lowest class of Venezuela coming here. Jump in a boat, come across the Carcos and Los Rios and jump on. You have a lawyer with a hijab, massive lady, running around the place, bawling about xenophobia and his children and his this and his that. We have plenty asses in Trinidad that will always and truly make people into victims and run after them. The government is right. You have to send them back, else you're going to off overload your social services. You're not going to get jobs. The Chinese don't take in most of your labor work, your carpentry work and everything on these on the government projects. You had the Venezuelan come to take away the rest? My God, you all have to be crazy. When Donald Trump was saying this in the United States of America about the migrants coming in illegally and not legally off of ports of entry and everything else. Everybody in Trinidad bleeding hard. Trump is a bad man. Probably do like Obama, but Obama sent up the most sent back the most of them. Had them in cages. But you all didn't see that. But you bashing Trump. Now you have to you, our government is trying to look after your own interests and all you're bashing them. My God, what is happening? Well I say to the Venezuelans, you have jackasses in Trinidad. Come. I want you all to come. I want you all to go on state land and squat. I want you all to go to the lookout in Maracas and Lady Young and wherever I have a lookout and have a view. Put up sheds and sell Venezuelan food. Bright people in Watwasa and bright people in Tiantec and get your lights and connection. The Trinidadian mo mo um, Motor uh, Works and Transport in the ministry will put roads for you just come and squat where you want and we have people defend you that's okay just come and override the health system take care of just go in there fix up we have a bunch of disorder in this country and nobody's taking it look at the whole lady on road squatters all over the place mashing up the place and putting up what they want nobody say nothing i went to maracas the other day only squatters there selling along the side of the road breaking down this and putting up structures nobody doing nothing so venezuelans come into trinidad and tobago come and take any piece of land you want any part of the road you want set up a building and start selling from it living from the lands bar it around grow some peas and things and get some lights and water the, the, the people around the squatters will tell you who to bribe because they, they don't ask for deed only normal people ask for deed and the dregs of Venezuela keep coming, keep coming. Because, it, you know, the people of Trinidad and Tobago are a bunch of asses where victims are concerned. We love it, so we take squatters do what they want, people do what they want, and guess what? It's the earners of honest living. Come sell some Venezuelan food by the side of the road, put up sheds, run the Trinidadians out of it, block up the whole um, health industry, take away their jobs. They will sit down and be docile. Don't be realized. They're not stupid. They're real stupid. It's only the government doing what the right thing. But guess what? Everybody else jamming the government. I say the government do the right thing.